I'm John Andrew, I'm a civil engineer and I'm a fellow of the Institution of Civil Engineers. We're standing today at uh, North Queensferry in Fife to the north of Edinburgh and behind me we have an icon of civil engineering known worldwide. The fourth bridge was built between 1882 and 1890 and it was designed by John Fowler and Benjamin Baker. It was constructed by a genius of civil engineering contracting, Sir William Arrow. Fowler and Baker, following the Tay Bridge um, collapse, were appointed to design a bridge to cross the River Forth, to take railway traffic north of Edinburgh and towards the highlands of Scotland. John Fowler was a real innovator. As a designer, he had actually designed the Metropolitan Railway Line in London, amongst many other uh, major engineering and railway engineering projects. John Fowler became a president of the Institution of Civil Engineers, and to this day he is still the youngest president to have been appointed. Benjamin Baker also became a president of the Institution of Civil Engineers. So we have two major icons of railway engineering who, who uh, co cooperated together to design this fantastic bridge. The fourth bridge was the first major steel bridge built in the world. Previous bridges, Tay Bridge and other bridges, had been built of cast iron. But back in the 1880s, the technology that we have today did not exist. Sir William Arrow, in fact, invented a number of major mechanical methods to allow this bridge to be built. But a real innovation that Sir William Arrow brought was a mechanical riveting machine. This bridge has six and a half million rivets holding it together. So to allow him to get the production required, he invented a machine for this, which allowed him to build the bridge in a reasonable time scale. 55,000 tonnes of steel were used to build this bridge. The bridge stands at its highest 361 feet above the river. The bridge today is still the longest at two and a half kilometres, the longest cantilever bridge in the world. It's the second largest cantilever span, second only to the Pont de Quebec in Canada, and it was opened by the then Prince of Wales on the 4th of March, 1890. But today still provides the important rail link north from Edinburgh. It's a lifeline in the railway infrastructure within Scotland. It forms part of the East Coast Main Line. It is still doing today what it was designed to do by Fowler and Baker. Engineers built the bridge, engineers designed the bridge, but engineers are now responsible for not only the restoration, but the ongoing maintenance. There are people working on the bridge each and every day, ensuring the bridge is kept in a robust and operational condition for the 200 trains a day that still use this bridge. It's an icon worldwide, but loved and treasured by the Scottish population. The fourth bridge is a World Heritage Site designated by UNESCO. This was granted in 2015. It's the sixth UNESCO World Heritage Site in Scotland, but it's the first of its type for engineering heritage. It's a testament to engineering, it's a testament to Scottish engineering that this bridge still exists. Engineers provide a service for the public, often underestimated, but if you look at the fourth bridge, it stands here today as the greatest testament of civil engineering that we can look back at an icon and, and say we have played a part in delivering something that's so important for the nation's infrastructure.